Hi guys and welcome to build log number nine. Um, I wanted to start this build log in a different way um, because I would like to thank Nigel in Nigel's modeling bench for his nice shout out. I really blushed when I heard all his nice remarks and compliments so thank you very much Nigel. Um, I would also like to thank uh, Commodore Urban for his shout out and all the kind words that he gave me. So I hope that uh, everyone is enjoying this channel and um, then we can commence. Uh, and today uh, we're going to work on uh, the after superstructure. So all the parts there, getting it onto the hull and uh, proceeding as normal. Uh, if you would like to give me any comments on how you think I can improve this um, this log and the channel itself, I would definitely appreciate that. And as you can see <coughs> in the sarcophagus uh, in the background here, I have my Titanic. Uh, so that's the Trumpeter 1-200 scale. I also have plans for the USS Enterprise CV6, uh, I want the 200 scale as well. And uh, then I have the Yamato um, and the Bismarck that is in my build, uh, build queue. So if you have any input to what I should really build next, uh, if I should then complete my Titanic, start on the CV6, Yamato or um, or the Bismarck, then please uh, give me some input on that one, and I will consider what to do. So I hope that you enjoy, uh, like and subscribe if you uh, would like to continue getting notifications and so on. Bye now. Yes, welcome to this log once more, and we are also going to focus on the conning tower in the bow section and then uh, adding the after superstructure with uh, the bolt cradle bridge and the fire control in the aft. So I hope that you uh, like the progress and uh, that uh, I will that I'm doing a good enough work for you to uh, to uh, to follow. So thank you. So then um, I'm working on the um, conning tower deck and uh, the conning tower itself trying to get rid of the seam lines uh, on the plastic uh, parts uh, using Mr. Surfacer and uh, then uh, sanding it down. So hopefully it will be a good result at the end. Um, otherwise there's this part uh, that goes on top of um, here. Uh, where you also have the director. Just keep in mind that the director has some or a lot of mold lines that needs to be worked on. So these lines here, they definitely need to be removed so you will get a good uh, result. So when that is in place, I am um, going to uh, to work on the details on the platform itself. So adding some of the photo etch here. And then we have um, the target givers that goes into all of these um, notches and also some other instruments that uh, uh, in resin parts that are also going into to this area. Then I'm thinking that I will add the conning tower to the deck um, and then add the wooden deck that goes around here before I continue with the details and the railing for for the um, for the conning tower deck. 
so then uh, I have uh, added the rangefinder to the conning tower and also the photo etch parts for the director. Um, in terms of the seam lines, I've uh, almost uh, gotten it all the way and the final uh, layer, so to say, is when I'm adding the microfiller, which is a part of the primer that I'm using. So the end result will be uh, quite good, I, I think. So then it's uh, painting these up and uh, adding them to the um, to the conning tower deck. Details for the conning tower deck is then uh, ready to be painted. Working on assembling the target givers. Um, actually quite nice and not too bad to do uh, just making nine of them so that is the usual thing when working on this ship models there are a lot of repetitive tasks but uh, again some mindfulness in doing it then the cunning tower has been painted and also uh, some of the details that are going on the deck so the different cabinets uh, the extra entrance and the target givers and uh, i've also added uh, the director on top here and also some of the instrument details that are on the inside Please uh, keep in mind that these are extreme close-ups, so not necessarily everything is perfect. And as uh, everything in, in, in this scale, going with close-ups and pictures, everything gets revealed. Which is, of course, a good test for uh, your abilities. Uh, but it is, of course, very hard to get everything perfect, as I would like it to be. But um, of course it's a learning curve. So uh, now the next step is to add the wooden deck. Um, so this one that uh, are then going to be installed here before I add the extra details on the sides, get those painted up before adding the conning tower and um, the c different cabinets that goes around in this area before um, adding the railing. The target givers are going into the notches here and um, I also mentioned some resin instruments. Those were actually missing from the set so I have to wait until Pontos uh, sends me uh, new ones. So uh, I guess that uh, I need to add those later, which of course is a bit tedious, but still I guess it's going to work quite nicely. Then the target givers have been installed and uh, we are ready to move on with uh, the stair or ladders on the side here. Um, adding, um, I think I will add the railing on the curved side before so I can position the ladder correctly or the stair correctly before moving on. So uh, moving on with that one. Then the railing on uh, the curve has been placed so I could also place the stair which makes a good starting point for the rest of uh, the railing. Then the railing is in place and uh, also the different cabinets and the reel. Uh, I have to say that the railing on this part was a nightmare. Uh, there are so many bends and curves <clears> that makes it um, very difficult. Uh, but hopefully the result is acceptable. Uh, so now it's time to add this part to the deck. 
Um, so um, I uh, before I add the 37 millimeters because I need some place where I can push down uh, to get the, the part uh, properly fitted to the walls on the superstructure. So moving on with that one. The conning tower deck has now been um, glued into place and I've also added uh, the first 37 millimeter and uh, given it uh, a bit of a wash. Um, all in all I think it starts to look pretty good. The only thing I see is uh, a little opening between uh, the photo etch wall beneath and um, the top of the conning tower wall or I, I'm not sure what I can do about it to get it better but um, something I need to to take a look at otherwise I think uh, uh, besides from the 37 millimeter I am ready to move on So shifting focus a bit, I'm going to work on the after superstructure, so uh, gluing this one to the deck and then work on the structure that is going between uh, the uh, after superstructure and the superstructure. And uh, then working on the, um, I guess, fire control um, that is going on top of the after superstructure. Okay, so now I've gotten part uh, C17 um, and uh, you need to cut away some of these parts. So um, this part here and uh, this side as well. And then you're going to remove the um, holders for the tenders on each of the sides. And the walkways have been uh, installed and um, the next part is to add the davits that are going into these uh, positions. Um, then the brackets are in place and it's time to uh, fold up the railing and uh, of course this is uh, a deliberate decision uh, so it's a bit easier to, to reach in without destroying the railing so um, well it's a procedure that I like to do in this, these cases at least there we have the component in place with the railing and everything uh, finished of course just dry fitting uh, so putting it in the queue to get some color assembling some of the photo edge parts uh, adding uh, the one around uh, in the ellipse that was very difficult um, you just need a lot of patience uh, since you only have like uh, a couple of millimeters on um, the top plastic part so not much to to bend around with and uh, keep it in place 
but finally that one is um, ready and um, going to paint these uh, two apart uh, so it's a bit easier to uh, to add a dark gray color to the horizontal surfaces okay so then the parts have been painted um, also painted the dark gray color on the deck um, so assembling um, the fire control parts together and then I can add these to the after superstructure. The bridge for the boat cradles have now been installed and the same with the fire control. There are some small parts missing, a stair and a reel but otherwise the after superstructure is starting to be finished in this level of course there is something going on top here and also the plane but that's for later so i hope that you enjoyed this uh, log and see you later